Hello friends, welcome to Spartan Theory. In this video, we will be discussing about a, an important theorem known as Carpet Theorem. So questions under this Carpet Theorem seems difficult. Uh, but then if you know Carpet Theorem, you can solve the questions in seconds. I mean you can solve them orally. So let's get started with this theorem. Carpet Theorem states that the overlap area will be equal to the free space area provided that some of the individual parts areas will be equal to the total area. So what I mean to say here is I have posted two questions in our Spartans groups. So these are the two questions here this one and this one. So we'll see both these questions. So now we'll move to our first question. In this question the radius of the bigger circle this here this radius of the bigger circle is 3 centimeters and all the smaller circles are equal and having the radius of root 3 centimeters so here the sum of the areas of all these three circles let's find the sum of the areas of all these three circles it will be 3 into uh, because of three circles so pi r square radius is root 3 root 3 whole square so it will be 9 pi so sum of the areas of all these three circles is 9 pi. Now find the area of this circle. This circle is pi into r square. The radius is 3. It will be 9 pi. So the areas of these inner circles, three circles sum is equal to the outer circle. So that means the sum of the areas of all these three equal to this, this bigger circle. Now just here is the concept. Suppose you have one cardboard here. Let this area be 10 centimeters, 10 centimeters square and you have one more cardboard whose area is 20 centimeters square. So these two things, if you keep side by side, their areas, this total area is 30 centimeters square. Okay. There are two different cardboards. Now what you're doing is you're taking one cardboard like this. You're just rotating it. Uh, this area is 10 centimeters square and uh, one more cardboard, this second cardboard, you rotate it this way, right? Even now the areas doesn't change, right? But then here what you can observe is this overlapping area. This area will be equal to, okay? So this outer areas, like suppose if you are placing this in a container, which is having area of 30 centimeters square, okay? This empty spaces, this empty spaces area will be equal to this one because we got these empty spaces just because these two are rotated and the once they are rotated there is an overlapping area here so because of this one these empty spaces are created if this is not rotated and kept side by side then there will be 30 centimeters square but then what happened here here also we have same 30 centimeters square area but then they are not side by side they are overlapping that's why these gaps are created just because of the rotation and these gaps are uh, actually this overlapping area that's why in carpet theorem states that the overlapping area is equal to the free space area provided the total area sum should be equal to the uh, total figures area so here you have the what is the area of this piece and this piece individually it is 30 centimeters square and this whole piece this whole area is 30 centimeters square okay so this is about carpet theorem now just uh, uh, just for an information suppose the figure is this one had the figure been this way this is a bigger circle of uh, radius 3 centimeters and we have one circle here having a root 3 centimeter one more circle here one more circle here so this is the overlapping part right in this case this carpet theorem doesn't work why because this overlapping area you see here this we didn't get once here if you see we got this overlapping area once we got one overlapping area once but this part is giving a duplicacy of two times this part is included three times so there is an extra two times included for this one that's why you cannot apply carpet theorem here but then here the area of all these three circles sum will be equal to the bigger circle and then if these circles are placed side by side, the area will be equal to the bigger circle itself. But then here, they are overlapped. That's why this overlap space, we got this overlap space. This overlap space is creating this extra space here. Got it? So here the answer will be 1 is to 1. The question asked is area of the blue shaded region to area of the brown shaded region. So blue is to brown should be 1 is to 1. I hope you understood this theorem. 
Now let's solve our second question. Hopefully, you will be able to answer this question. The answer will be C. That means both quantity A and B are equal. If you see the question here, it says ABCD is a square of side 10 cm. So area of the outer figure is 100 cm square. Now we have two quadrilaterals, this one E, F, G, H. This is one quadrilateral and we have second quadrilateral, this one. right? The question is, it clearly said that sum of the areas of these two quadrilateral is 100 cm square. That means if you put these two quadrilateral side by side, uh, that will be equal to 100 cm square, which is the area of the square, bigger square itself, right? So, but then what happened? They are not put kept side by side. In, in uh, instead, they were overlapping each other. Because of this overlapping area, this is a brown area. Because of this overlapping area, we are getting this extra spaces here. Okay. So the area of this brown space is to pink space will be one is to one. Hope uh, you enjoyed this video and uh, try applying this concept as and when needed. But do not get confused. Be careful. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.